So in this video, I'm going to talk about the five most annoying things. In Call of Duty Modern Warfare, this is not going to include the game crashing non-stop, even though that has been the biggest problem so far with this game. This is only going to include the five things in-game that I myself find the most annoying. If you think there's something else that I didn't mention, post it in the comments section below. I'm only going to list five things for time's sake, so chances are I'm not going to cover every single thing. That being said, the five most annoying things in Call of Duty Modern Warfare to me, at number one, the footsteps. Whenever you try and move on this game, it's as if you just turned into a dinosaur. Goddamn, the footsteps are so loud, you can buy a cheap $5 headset and you will be able to hear people across the map. You literally can't move on this game without dead silence. But even that isn't enough. I've had people hear me when I have dead silence on, and clearly they hear me because they instantly turn around and pre-aim where I'm coming from right before I get around a corner. Rushing almost doesn't exist on the entire game. Think about that. The one playstyle that made Call of Duty a great series doesn't exist anymore. I mean, who actually gave this game the go-ahead and said, yeah, it's good to go. We should release it just like this. That guy should be fired. Oh, he just bought a new house? Oh well, fire his ass. He ruined the best part about Call of Duty. I mean, how did we get to the point, not just with this game, but in shooter games in general, where everyone now hates RNG? How can you hate players running around? Better yet, how can somebody make it any easier on you? If somebody is running around, guess what? That means that they're not camping and they're not head glitching. How can you possibly hate that? Number two, the bunny hopping is out of control on this game. And this is a boots on ground game. These fucking people think that they're playing Infinite Warfare or a Black Ops game. Like seriously. Find a way to take the jumping aspect out of gunfights. It seems like every time I run into a guy face to face, the guy has to jump like super fucking Mario, okay? It's just getting way too old way too fast seeing that happen every time in the middle of a gunfight. At number three, the dialogue. You can actually hear everything your opponent's character says in game. That's another thing that they got from the Black Ops games. To me, that takes all the skill out of the game. People will literally hear my character saying something, and they turn around because they hear him talking. That basically takes the skill factor out of the equation right there. There is nothing you can do to counter that. Now sure, you can turn the dialogue off in the options, but that's not going to stop other people from hearing your character talking unless they themselves have the dialogue volume turned all the way down in the settings. And it's not like these guys are just having a conversation. These motherfuckers are yelling. You can hear them across the map. Moving on to number four, we all know about the camping. But the biggest part of that is the claymores. First things first, how was it a good idea to make the claymore the first available piece of equipment? It's not even an item that has to be unlocked. It's one of the two default equipment items in the lethal category. To me, it should be one of the last things unlocked in that category because it's by far the best. If you get hit by a claymore, you die instantly unless you have EOD on. You won't have time to avoid it. It's too quick and too overpowered. And for the record, if you have EOD on, guess what? Your health still goes down by 80% when you get hit by that one claymore. On top of that, people have already figured out that if you double stack two claymores in the same spot, it will kill somebody that has EOD on. To me, if you do have EOD on, you should never die from an explosive. Ever. And another thing about the claymores, how can you die from it when you're a good three feet behind it? when you shoot it. Especially when you have EOD on. Once again, none of that shit makes any sense at all. And at number five, the gunplay and the sprint out time. The sprint out time is just as bad as Call of Duty World War II sprint out time when that game was first released. I was probably the first and only person to call that during the beta. And guess what? It's still the same on the actual game. Now when it comes to the gunplay, the SMGs in particular and also the ARs with the exception of the M4 
are horrible hit marker machines, and that's all they are. I'm just being honest. Once again, what did they do? They made the sniper rifles OP as fuck. Thank God we can have another handful of sniper rifles that you don't even need to aim down sight with. Fire one shot and that will kill somebody at any range. While the SMGs and the assault rifles are pretty much garbage. Anyways guys, those are the five main things that are annoying to me on this game. Sure, I could have made this list a hell of a lot longer like most people would have. But I tried my hardest to stay positive throughout all of this at the beginning. So that's why I made this list only five things deep. You really have no idea, or maybe you do, on how hard it is to stay positive when it comes to a shooter game that you've been waiting to come out for quite some time and have it be released like this. They are going to have to change a lot of things for me to continue to play this multiplayer. The camping is just ridiculous. It makes me not even want to touch this game at all. And it just sucks because, in my opinion, we haven't had a good shooter game come out since 2016. My hopes were really high for this game. I'm still going to do a few videos on it, but I don't know how long I can possibly last playing this game if the things I mentioned all stay the same on the game. Anyways, thanks for making it this far in the video if you did. I hope this serves as a warning to anyone that hasn't purchased this game yet. You should definitely spend your hard-earned money on something else like toilet paper. That would be a way better purchase than buying this shitty camper game. Anyways, if you agree with most of the things I said, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.